Welcome back, pilots, to yet another Titanfall 3 theory crafting video. Today, we're going to be talking about how we could potentially earn our Titan in what could be Titanfall 3. Now, I do want to clarify some things. There's a lot of comments on these videos, people not really fully aware of the situation when it comes to the existence of Titanfall 3. Has Titanfall 3 been confirmed as a thing? Is it in development? Short answer is no. Long answer is this. Vincent Zampella was quoted in multiple interviews saying that Respawn is dedicated to the future of the Titanfall franchise. That's as much as we've got, ladies and gentlemen. It could be three, four years before we even get news or word of Titanfall 3 or the next Titanfall. Respawn is working on a lot of other projects for EA. They are now part of EA, so it's likely that those projects have maybe even become more important than they were before. They've had a very small team in the past, but maybe that team is growing now that they are under the ownership of EA. We really don't know what's going on behind the scenes, but we're all referencing it as Titanfall 3 because what else are you going to call it? Come on, that's kind of how things work. Let's all, let's all just accept that and realize that videos like this are being done by people like me because we just like Titanfall way too damn much and we don't want to let go of the thought of the franchise and we definitely don't want to think about it not existing for the next four years. So whatever happens with the future of Titanfall 3, we're here to talk about it all in the name of fun. Remember that. I'm not laying out a structured 25-minute video for this is how Respawn should develop Titanfall 3. We're just here to theorycraft and talk about some ideas based on our experience with Titanfall 1 and Titanfall 2. So let's get the ball rolling and talk a little bit about how we could potentially earn, gain access to our Titans in a typical multiplayer match in what could be the future of the Titanfall franchise. Now, if we look back at the OG Titanfall, you would start a match with a four minute timer. You could actually shorten that timer by killing grunts and enemies or completing objectives, but it was, you just took a few seconds off. It wasn't a substantial amount. In fact, there was a much more substantial way to shorten the build time for your Titan, and that was to use burn cards. By 40 or 80 seconds, there were even burn cards that allowed you to gain instant access to a Titan at the start of a match. Looking back, it actually worked. It worked in Titanfall 1. I don't remember there ever being any severe issues, although there were plenty of instances that I remember calling in a Titan at the start of a match and laying waste early on, really getting sort of a, you could say, an unfair advantage. I honestly can see why Respawn removed burn cards. I think they were a cool idea, but there was a layer of randomness that they added to the experience, even though everyone had access to it, that always felt like it just... It was an extra layer of something that didn't need to be there. You know, it was this sort of unknown factor that seemed to constantly shift control of the battlefield. Now, in Titanfall 2, we have a system where you can very rapidly gain access to your Titan and some of your Titan's abilities, like your electric smoke shield, simply by killing people. I actually really don't like the way Titans were handled in Titanfall 2 when it comes to how we earn them. They started to feel more like they were kill streaks and less like they were a badass robot that I was eventually going to get to call down no matter what. And if you're a really good player, especially in a situation where you're farming people who aren't so good, you can get your Titan very quickly and many more times than another player might be able to. I personally don't like the shift in the balance of power that that creates. And I've talked about this issue before in Titanfall 2. We seem to have way too many instances where a match of attrition or bounty hunt becomes very one-sided because one team is constantly getting their titans up, they clean house, they clean house, your team finally gets your titans up. At that point, things kind of shift and you get this weird back and forth or you get an environment where the other team just stomps people out. When it comes to Titanfall 3, I absolutely do not want my titan to feel like a kill streak. In fact, I'd be fine if they went back to the 4 minute timer and didn't give us a way to reduce that build time. Instead, just let the titans fall at 4 minutes for everyone and just make it a part of the gameplay where now everyone has access to their Titan at the exact same time. I think that would actually create a cool shift in the gameplay loop of a match of attrition. It's pilots versus pilots, four minute mark, prepare for Titanfall, and then all of a sudden, boom, you get this huge, awesome clash, Titan versus Titan combat, and as the Titans start to die off, you get that mixed match of pilot versus Titan combat towards the end of the experience. And then maybe that happens one more time before a match is over, I genuinely like the idea of that shift, and hell, I'd be happy if they pushed it to the 5 minute mark and made half the experience pilots versus pilots, and the second half Titan versus Titan, again with the pilot versus Titan mix coming in at the end. I think that would be fantastic. And if we look at the health that we get for our Titans in Titanfall 2, Titans obviously die much more quickly in Titanfall 2 than they ever did in Titanfall 1. 
that's again why I've always had this feeling of them being more of a kill streak or a score streak than an actual, you know, hardcore baked in design component within the game. They just never felt meaty or powerful enough to me. They felt more like they were trying to mirror the pilot side of the experience one for one, including just how much health my Titan could have. It's not terrible, and I'm not saying I don't enjoy playing my Titan in Titanfall 2. There are a lot of things I like about the Titans, but the amount of health a Titan has and how long they stay on the battlefield and the rate at which certain people can gain access to their Titan just never felt like it fell in line with the rest of the experience for me. It never felt like the Titans were being recognized for the powerhouses they should be. I want to feel like I could seriously tear some shit up, man. I want to feel like when I go up against another Titan, it's a long, drawn-out battle of the monsters, the masses, these two mechanical bees going at it, fighting to the bitter end. You know, I want my Titan to feel like it has a bit more heft. So, honestly, if we talk about which game did it better for me, it was all Titanfall 1. Even with the burn cards and all the crazy stuff that could happen with being able to call your Titan in right away with the right burn card... I much more appreciated and enjoyed the way Titans were handled in terms of earning them and also their sustainability on the battlefield the first time around in Titanfall 1. If they went back to that system for Titanfall 3, I'd be a-okay, but I guess I still would really like to see them do a modified take on it. And the idea of everyone just getting their Titan at the exact same time, that really clicks for me. You know, I, I think that's an, an area of the game where... I don't need to feel like I earned my Titan before another player. And I don't feel like we need to give players the freedom to gain access to their Titan earlier just because they can kill people more quickly. I think especially if we talk about a quick play environment, a game mode like Attrition that's going to be played by the majority of people in the game just to pick up and play and have fun, creating a more structured and more balanced baseline for how Attrition is played across the pilot versus Titan side of the experience could be a very healthy thing long term. Again, I, there's too much give and take in the current state of Titanfall 2 when it comes to a game mode like Attrition. The Titans are just back and forth, and it only takes a few shots, a few lucky crits from a random ion in the corner of the map for your health bar to be almost completely drained. So giving a little bit more meat, a little bit more mass behind the Titans, and restructuring the point at which we actually gain access to our Titans and how we gain access to our Titans, I think could really reestablish the value of both the pilot and Titan experience going forward with Titanfall 3. That's just my personal thought, guys. I know some people talk about like burn cards returning and stuff like that. And I like when Respawn takes a risk with an interesting mechanic. Burn cards were definitely an example of that. You know, there's a lot of things they did in Titanfall 2 that were very much, well, why don't we try this? And when we look at the way that Titans were handled in Titanfall 2 in terms of earning them, it seems like they looked at their past experience with building the Call of Duty franchise and said, well, what if we allowed players to sort of earn their Titan, you know, more rapidly uh, than we ever let them in Titanfall 1. What if we made that feel like more of a, a score streak or a kill streak in how you earn your Titan? I get the idea. I just personally never enjoyed the way it turned out. So let me know your thoughts. Which game did you prefer, Titanfall 1 or Titanfall 2, when it came to earning your Titan? And do you have sort of a vision or an idea of how you'd like to see things handled in the next Titanfall when it comes to earning your Titan, and also the health, the sustainability of your Titan. What do you expect from your Titan when you hop into it in Titanfall 3? Let me know all of your thoughts down in the comment section below. Remember guys, it's for fun, man. We're just theory crafting. Don't take it too seriously. And more importantly, be sure to share your thoughts and your opinions because that's a community discussion and that's what it's all about. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the future for more Titanfall 3 theory craft.